From millions of Kenyans with all capacities, when you were sort of faulty, where we Nichagua Nikawa Naibu Yako. It is not what they say that we take it seriously, it is what they do that justifies their relationship with the head of state. The clouds are gathering, it's about to rain, and if you don't have an umbrella, there will be a torrent. For the unnamed targets, the day constituted Black Sunday. To clear all doubt, President Huru Kenyatta spoke in his mother tongue. The obvious target being the increasingly restless elected leaders of his native central Kenya, where his deputy William Ruto has been making some irritatingly impactful political forays. Tonight we talked to three elected members of parliament from central Kenya to find out what is going on between them and the president, Uhuru Kenyatta. Text us on number 2422, use the hashtag Newsnight. On Twitter, uh, we have, of course, in studio, presidential candidate, yeah? <laughs> Moses Kuria, who is also the Katun to South Member of Parliament. Uh, Ali Sohome is the MP Kandara. And we have uh, Nyeri Town Member of Parliament, Gujiri Mboko. Thank you all for making time for us Thank you. Uh, this evening. Thank you. So it is no doubt who the President is addressing or who was, who was addressing. I'll start with you, uh, Honorable uh, Wahome. What have you done to irritate the President? Uh, Hussein, thank you very much for inviting us here this uh, evening. I believe I have done nothing, uh, so, so to speak, because uh, this was unexpected. Although in terms of what has been going on and you know, coming along, we have seen the president in every moment that he has had the opportunity to actually visit our region. There has been you know, a pattern mm -hmm. that uh, has uh, you know, demonstrated some, some maybe anger or annoyance mm -hmm. or... Um, Dissatisfaction mm -hmm. and that is that, that, that really has been portrayed to the public most of the times unexpected because uh, you have seen that in most cases, even members of parliament are present. I don't think it is personal, possibly in my assessment of what the president was addressing mm -hmm. on that day. Mm -hmm. I think he was addressing the whole region, all members of parliament included, and maybe other leaders, you know, so that. I don't think it's a specific thing. Though there are divisions. And, and I believe, I don't know what and I believe this right. was largely directed to his, to his party members. Jubilee party. Jubilee so you agree members. that there are divisions in the Jubilee party, isn't it? I believe there are divisions in the Jubilee yeah, party. Think he was addressing but there that? is time, there, 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 this is a possibility that we can still mend those divisions. Well, who is he so personally yeah. I have done nothing to warrant the... They say you've done a lot. You're, you're, you're campaigning part of the Tanga Tanga team. I'll come to that and you'll respond. Yes. Honorable who was he addressing? Who was the president talking to? Well, uh, and, and as you answer that, uh, one of the things he said, I mean, uh, I'll translate it loosely, yes, yes. is stop going around telling us how you shall rise to power. They should not think that I'm a boy and they will not become anything. There's a lot of interpretation. One of them, of course, is that you want to be president. <laughs> and whether that could be referring to you as well. well but anyway, who was he talking to? My, he talking to you? my own thing to be president is in consequential material here. First of all, it's a constitutional right, but as uh, you know, I don't go through it into people's faces as if it is the only important thing in this world. There's so many other things in this world. People need to eat, people need to sleep, people need to work, mm -hmm. people need to have shelter. But, you know, my one thing to be president is really neither here nor there. Just one person among 50 million Kenyans. So I don't want to be that is the issue. They just don't want people from the Jubilee Party to talk about well, politics uh, let's, let's, That is the concern let's, of the president. Let's, let's get to the bottom of the matter. Was the president's right? First of all, I really understand where he's coming from. Mm -hmm. First of all, because he's human. And uh, it is human to be upset and to be angry. I get angry. I walk out of you. Yeah? <laughs> it is normal. Maybe, maybe now you can understand it better. You know why it is really human to be angry. It is normal to be angry. And we all get angry. Does it mean it's a good thing to be angry? Not at all. But it's normal. The president is human and the president got angry. He um, began to get angry. Uh, well, was he right to be angry? Yes and no. Yes, because uh, there's too much political noise in this country. 
This, that's, that's, that's not Agob. From where? I, and, and from everyone, from all of us. Mm. From Kerewekes, from Tangatangas, there's just too much. The decibels are, are, are you know, at, you know, a record high, mm -hmm. all time high. Mm -hmm. and, and that's the whole thing. But there are some things that came out of there which really I, I wouldn't totally agree with. For example, mm. to say that um, me members of parliament go and work in your constituencies. And we need to work on our constituencies, but there are some things that we need to put into context. As we speak, CDF, which is the money that is supposed to be with members of parliament, mm. if you ask these members, most of them they have received not more than 50%. CDF is only fund whereby we finish the financial year without even paying bills because we finish all the money. Members actually become idle waiting for, for, for money to be, to be sent from, from Treasury to their constituencies. So in that respect, I would for CDF. As a matter of fact, what lets most MPs, MPs down is things which are outside their control. Things that are with counties, things about health, things okay. about agriculture, okay. things with the national government, things, things about roads, things about water, about electricity. Mm. So in that respect, there is, there is some anguish among members of parliament that you can understand. Is the solution to, uh, of, to that problem, is that going to be solved by going all over the country and polluting the political environment? Absolutely no. So in that respect, the president is right. But is he right that uh, members of parliament are leaving their work and going to, to Rome all over? No. So I think it's, it's a moment that calls for a lot of... He's, he's, he's not happy because members of parliament are leaving their jobs, that's what he's being said, to go and politic and concentrate about politicking about 2022. Okay, well, that, that, is, that is what he's not happy about. In the about. sense of leaving their job in a constituency, I'm just trying to put something in perspective there that you can't really totally bring members of parliament because we have got huge problems with the executive. Huge problems. Money is not coming in time. Uh, uh, government officials who are not accessible. Planning that is not coordinated. You know, all these things need to be put in perspective. Is a solution for that? Well, if I go and roam all over the country, have I solved that problem? Absolutely no. If I increase the political noise in the country, have I solved those problems? No. But that is what is happening. Absolutely. You agree that is what is happening? Absolutely. You are part of that? Absolutely. Of increasing political noise? Not of political... I have been speaking about this since November, my friend. You did? Kenyans the, are not listening to I me. Mean, it's true. They no never listen to no me. You've talked about issues about um, development and all there's, that. No there's doubt. so many other things. But you've also yeah. talked about politics. And, and, so, and so, your, your just look at the ratio. And, uh, and, <laughs> and being a candidate. Uh, so definitely, you've also been uh, doing what the president doesn't want you to do. Running, the Jubilee Party. running for president, I will continue. Take, take this to the bank. So you'll do what the president doesn't want you to do? Running for president is my constitutional right. Polluting the no political environment with the noise all over and saying, you definitely have to politic, though, Do you see people on my toe saying, Where were you to touch Do you see people on my toe? Okay, I'll come back to you, Mr. Scoria. Uh, Honorable uh, Gunjiri Wambogo. Yes, sir. And effectively, today you are presenting before the Building Bridges Initiative. That was in Nyeri? Yes, it was. One, uh, you talked about restructuring, <coughs> there was talks about restructuring the executive, the, executive. Uh, the judicial process, and all that. Yes. Uh, number one, and I'll come to that, and whether it's a political thing or not, because you're the one who was, who was, who was going around telling people not to politic. Yeah. But the things that you're talking about building bridges, uh, at the Building Bridges Initiative today, that's very political, isn't it? That we, process is political. You cannot deny it that. It is. Changing the constitution, that is it political. Is. It, okay. is. it is. Uh, and you'll, you'll respond to that shortly. Mm. And then you also want MPs kicked out for not towing the line? Mm -hmm. Explain. Um, first and foremost, let's, let's first discuss whether the president was justified in being upset on Sunday. Personally, I think he was, 100%. I mean, that what I saw was a man who's angry, who's frustrated, who's tired, who is angry. So be upset with all of you, including you? I, I don't want to say it's all of us. I mean, I, I have listened <laughs> to Alice's explanation. I, I don't think it's all of us. I think also he was it's quite, all of you. quite specific. Um, oh. With the things he's 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 worried he's he's, mm -hmm. he's upset about, mm -hmm. and one of the things I always try to put in context is that immediately we got elected, the president asked us not to do premature campaigns. That was in August, on August 30th, 2017, in the very first parliamentary group meeting that we had in Parliament. Okay. And he told us not to campaign, not to do politics for the four years, and then in the fifth year he would be the person who would champion the Jubilee campaign and presidential candidate in 2022. Mm -hmm. The the thing that I, that led him to where he has got it. And, and this has been a build up. Let's stop looking surprised that he got, uh, he, he got frustrated and he got upset on, that he got upset on Sunday. I, I, I think the fact that we are getting shocked 
is taking taking it too far. He has in the in the recent conversations he's had, and and, and Mishmiwa Wahome has pointed out that he's been annoyed most of the time when he talks to members of parliament, especially from our region. Mm -hmm. And in my opinion, it's because of the disappointment. Because this is a region he expected above all others to stand with him in the policies that he's making. Okay. When he went out and gave a policy, do not so campaign, who, you, he expected us. You think us. he was speaking to one? He was speaking to who? Tanga Tanga. <laughs> as far as I'm concerned. Okay. Those are the guys he was talking uh, to. I mean, you, because they can't... Because they've actually why? broken, they've actually gone against everything he's asked. Which is he said, do not do premature campaigns. They are doing premature campaigns. He said, let's support the fight against corruption. They have a problem with the fight against corruption. He said, let's support the handshake. They have a problem with the handshake. So literally, everything he's pushing, I'd want to they are fighting. I'd want to honorable Ali so to, 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 for to me, respond to, to, to that. But, but honorable uh, Mbugu, yes. You've also been going out over the weekends, campaigning. You know, let me tell you what just finish my question. Yes. You've been going out over the weekends, you've been campaigning. You've been campaigning against campaigns. Tanga Tanga and against uh, uh, the campaigns for William Ruto. The Actually, president. we have been campaigning against his campaigns, which and is ironical. I mean, it's, 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 even I think, even, so I think it's, even I think it's ironical. Yeah, so you've been going around doing politics yes. and campaigning either yes. way. Yes, and it's actually so very what makes you special? It's I the wish, same thing. I wish we weren't doing it, personally. The problem is this, we had one year of a narrative being built on, being built on, built on, and I always make fun, you know, Moses is the person who actually made me start Kielewek. <laughs> this guy. He made you start the Kielewek. Yes, okay. because he, sometime early last year, he used to go to Rift Valley and tell uh, the people from Rift Valley that he has all the votes of the Kikui in his pocket and he's going to bank them in the ballot. That, that's not very accurate. That's, but, uh, no, 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 no. Asking you to start being truthful at let your me, age. Let me, let me He's asking for too much. But okay. when he did that, actually the first time he did that, and I corrected it, and I said, forget about other votes. Okay. Mine. He actually came to Nyeri and tried to correct me. Okay. So what are, the point your I'm trying to make is... Your microphone has an issue. Yes. Just look at it as I, as I let uh, uh, Honorable Ali Sohome uh, respond to you. He was speaking you know, to you, in other yes. words. That's what, that's what the president I, was addressing was you. He was speaking to all of us. He I, says I no. want I mean, to imagine that he's he was speaking to all of us. And if then, if we were to take the narrative by Gujiri Wabogo that he was talking yes. to just Tanga Tanga, mm -hmm. if for that matter, then I think there is a problem there. Because it, there is equal measure of uh, campaigns. If these uh, movements to churches, to development uh, project is campaigning. You know, you, you have seen Gojiri and his team, and I think he's the leader with the Honorable Kamanda. They have gone to churches. Some churches, they have been actually chased away because people ha have some expectation which they don't meet. Then there is some talk that they go to, you know, to, to spread all over, you know, mm -hmm. including de-campaigning okay. openly, but the DP. So if you are de-campaigning, mm -hmm. you are actually also doing Campaigns. politics. No, he, agree, doing he agrees that. And he, he agrees with that, yeah. And therefore, he's saying it is not okay. We want to see him starting. You know, Gujiri Wambogo started this campaign on social media before these things went there to the depth that they have gone. And he knows. And there was serious campaign. I don't know, at that stage, he was a loner. Now he has managed to recruit uh, the commanders <laughs> and the others, including, including people from the ODM. And so that, now there is a, a, a fairly a good team. But then, let's just say that um, I think getting angry, as you say, is OK. But then when you get angry, you have to manage that. And then the things that you come out and say. You're undermining him. That's the accusation. I, I, I don't You're know. You're undermining him. I do not understand. You're not listening to your party leader when he's telling okay. you, please let us focus on I other issues is and working together. There and let's is not a talk way about you can politics. speak to party members because there are structures to address maybe errant members if they are there. There is disciplinary you know, you know, structures within the party. There is also the PG that you can call. That is not happening. But let me say this, even assuming that maybe the conclusions are that there is some form of disrespect, I don't think you add value by actually then coming out the way you are coming out. So in my view, and I think the president has a lot of capacity and there is you know, opportunity to speak to the members. And you know, when you look at outside the Mount Kenya region, last week you saw Mudavadi bringing mm -hmm. his people together mm -hmm. and calling for unity of the Lugia okay. people mm -hmm. and, and also saying, look, we need to organize ourselves before 2022 or by 2022 for purposes of a candidate from this region. You have seen this man from trade union 
uh, called Atwari. Atwari. Mm -hmm. He has a movement also. He has called for change of the constitution. He seems to be speaking from somewhere. And, saw, and his yeah. agenda is that we must stop DP Ruto. Yeah. And Murave, also saw, yeah. Murave mm -hmm. was actually chased out of the party because of going direct and actually saying the deputy president cannot be a candidate for Jubilee. And you know, those are decisions to be made by the party. And then the, the other thing is that how do you then measure this and tell somebody do not, what, 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 what is the measure of politics against development? Wherever the DP has gone, and, and I'm not here speaking for him, he has either gone to a church function, he has been invited, mm. and it is, in my view, it is in order to spice it up with some politics. <laughs> he has gone, he has okay, gone, okay, he okay, has okay. gone to launch, stop, stop, he has also so launched that, projects. Just so that you clear it, just so that it, you, clear, you make it clear, to spice it up with politics, you mean when people now, they, they're so cold, Tanga Tanga Squad come there and say, our man is Deputy President William Ruto, he should not be fought and all that. That is what you mean. What, what, what I'm saying, uh, you know, I think the problem is that because of this, development will suffer. First and foremost. You, I will actually, come to that, Honorable Homie. I'm just asking you a question. You, 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 I'm asking you, you a direct know, because question. Because I think there is, there is nothing wrong with politicians doing you're, you're, politics. So, so, I'm so uh, have they compromised? A development? You're within your rights. No. You're within your rights. No, no that's what I'm saying. But, so we have but not. your party leader does not think so. So what are you, what are you saying? I think my You don't party, care what the party my, leader my party, says. I do care what the party but leader says. But I also mind the, the communication and the method of reaching me as a member of Jubilee. I do mind. Okay. Uh, we'll look at a sound clip here from, uh, and you'll respond, from Honorable Kimani uh, Gunjiri, uh, MP Bahati. Uh, this is what he said over the weekend after the president's uh, outburst. Tell the president the truth. Tell the president the mood of the ground. Tell the president the mood of the ground. When you go to the ground, you will be able to get the ground. You will be able to get the ground. You will be able to get What do you think is this mood of the ground that he's talking about? You know, the mood of the... Uh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. The mood on the ground is that uh, people also want to be visited by the deputy president. They want the visits by the president. And you see, when they go, they obviously must go with a project. In my view, they can also visit. Must. That is the word you're using? No, not. They, they don't, it's not a must, but there are reasons why a president will come to my region. Most of the mm. times it's either he has, he has an invitation or he's in a barrio or he's in a ceremony or there is a project of the national government mm -hmm. that is intended for launching. And you know, when we went around, ask yourself, how many promises did we make? What are we doing about those promises? That, that is what he wants you to work on. The pre, the pre, you know, look, let me allow, the, let yeah, me yeah, just, yeah. let me explain this. The person and the office supposed to implement projects development is not the office of the member of parliament. I'm supposed to lobby, mm -hmm. I'm supposed to oversight mm -hmm. because we have a budget. Yes. The budget is given to county government yes. and the national government, the office of the president with all the cabinet ministers. Mm -hmm. They come up with policy. Mm -hmm. We support with the legislative mm -hmm. uh, you know, mechanisms mm -hmm. so that they can be able to implement. So there's nowhere really the MP is handling cash except the CDF which is also okay. has another structure. Course, not course, necessary. Yeah. So, so when the country is being told that we are abandoning development, I think... Oversight role. Oversight role is part of development. Oversight law, we are That doing. is part of development, isn't oversight it? To law, check what is working and what is not working is part of development. You know, actually, the oversight is if I have a project in my constituency and it's not going on well, then I can actually even call and summon the minister or the department involved in parliament. And you can do that, right? And I can do that. That's what they want you to do more of that. That's we what are doing saying. that, in okay. fact. Honorable Korea. We are doing that. What's the question? I'm lost. How do you respond first to Kimani uh, Gujiri? No, you know, um, my good friend Kimani Gujiri, um, much he's, he's right to some extent in terms of what is in the ground. And I'll tell you in a minute what the ground is in, mm -hmm. especially in Mount Kenya region. Mm -hmm. Let me, before I come to Kimani yeah. Gujiri, I yeah. come to, the, to what uh, Olabu Alice oh, is saying. saying yeah. And she's right. You know, it's the national government that's supposed to execute this project. My big question is, and that is a moment I was traveling somewhere in Neri, we had a meeting with the president as Mount Kenya MPs in November. I call it my role to Damascus. Mm -hmm. And in that meeting, with every member of parliament, and I, I was the one coordinating the development uh, issues, 64 members of parliament and, 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 and a couple of uh, women reps and, and senators, each of us had some, some, some documented, documented mm -hmm. issues. Mm -hmm. 
of things that are wrong in Kandara and Nyeri town and Nakuru, and we, we, we dump them on the feet of the president. At that point, I asked myself, even if I go to Kandara 55 times without solving those issues, are we really helping? That's why I have got a huge problem with the way the Tanga Tanga is executing the, 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 the version of the solution. And, and I think that's even where the angst of the president is, is really coming from. Mm -hmm. This notion that one man, Superman Rambo, can go around the country dishing out development when we have got huge issues is a problem for me. As a matter of fact, in my opinion, I think that whole Tanga Tanga thing is creating a personality cult. Even nowadays, if you listen to the speeches, it's, it is first person singular. I, me, You're talking myself, about the deputy president? I'm not going to go there. I'm just saying the way that the Tanga Tanga <laughs> yeah, is I mean, executing. The, the so-called Tanga Tanga in business. Tanga Tanga in business. Uh, no, no. It's creating a personality cult in a, in, in a, in a situation which is very dire. Yeah, mm -hmm. and, 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 and you know, uh, I don't understand how first time in peace, like my good friend uh, Ngujiru Ambugu, Alice and myself have been in that house before. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, a person like myself, I'm almost 80-90% to finishing my development projects. Am I better than them? No, I, I just started, you know, in the, in the, in the, in the, in the, in the 10th parliament or in the 11th parliament, which I'm now completing in the 12th parliament. So you find first time MPs moving from Mount Elgon to Garissa the following day in Mandera. See, hey, even our time, things are not as difficult. We are not living in ba the budget constraint you live today. Mm. But you find a member of parliament is first time, he should be really, really... I used to tanga tanga in my first time. <laughs> yeah? Okay, so I what should they be doing? Let me tell you what I Let me tell you I used to tanga tanga in my first time. My Tanga Tanga was starting in the morning in the Ministry of Water, midday in the Ministry of Roads, afternoon in the Ministry of, of Electricity, of Energy, mm. looking for all these solutions. Now, I just pity, pity them when I see, you know, what's happening. Mm. But at the same time... But actually, me, you know, members of parliament shouldn't be doing that. They should be. That's what they should be doing. They should be doing. They should be doing. Because you got to where the solution lies. The solution is not in that, in that place where you are going to your fellow member of parliament, yeah, but let me also give yeah, you the, yeah, the other yeah, side of the coin because yeah. I think it's very yeah. important. Yeah. I've told you where, where I think that the Tanga Tanga is executing the, the script wrongly. On the other hand, people, especially in our region, I don't know, you know, this, this panel, uh, Hussein, mm. is symptomatic of what is wrong with this country. Yeah. He's a Kikuyu, I am a Kikuyu, she is a Kikuyu. I don't know where Mwega Hussein. I no think we should even address you in Kikuyu <laughs> because, you know, it's like this panel is symptomatic of what's happening in this country, where it is only one region which is speaking. I want you next week to hold three Ruya MPs, and the other week three Kalenjin MPs, well, and the other week... You can look at it MPs. that way, you can look at it that the problem in Jubilee. No, I, mean, okay. I, I don't understand <laughs> why, but, but. why in a country of 42 communities, I think now, and I would want to, to, to think this is the last time we're having a panel like this, <laughs> so that we now give the other 41 okay. communities a chance it's, to be heard, all right. to be to heard. But we let me tell you something, Hussein. We are the, people, the, the president know, clearly was speaking in one. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. I'm just saying it's about, it was about yeah. this. It's yes. not about uh, whether the president was right or wrong. I was saying, as Kikuyus, we need to shut up and give the Ruyas and the Masais and the Moros and the James, yeah, and the Rendiles and the Boranas time to come and also be had three people in, okay. in whatever. In, but let me use something before you cut me short, uh, Hussein. The people from where I come from, in the region I come from, are very angry with this government. Very angry. Why? What they're saying, and I'm not s implying whether they're right or wrong, I'm just reporting what they're saying. They're saying they're not seeing development. They're saying they have, they have policies which are not hurting. enabling them. To, they're hurting them. Mm -hmm. They're saying they're not you seeing... You also agree to, with yeah? yes. This is what our people are So what are you are doing about us. it? The, you're you're that, the representative, that, 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 that's yeah. a big What are you question. doing about it? And in my opinion, question. these are the issues we need to address. And you know the problem is that it is compounded. You know when a problem is compounded by lack of ventilation, it becomes even worse. Since we got elected in this, in this term, Hussein, we have only had two, two PGs. Groups. When we were the first one, even between the first election and the second one, and the second one last year, okay. when we had the VAT because, issue. Okay. When, when, a, when, a, when a family does not sit together to air on out, and I'm talking about two families. We have got three families now. We have got the Mount Kenya family, where we come from. We have got the Jubilee family. And now we have got the larger Kenyan families. Okay. And those three families are equally important. All right. Honorable yes. Kujiri, do you agree with that? What, is he talk, what he's talking about, the ground? And, and I, I know that the ground is unsettled. 
Because I know the ground is unhappy. I think the ground is unhappy because they expected us to do certain things and we are doing something different. The, when we got elected, when we went around asking for votes, and yes, it's true, I'm a first-time member of parliament, mm -hmm. so I am much closer to the last election. When we went around looking for votes, the one thing we kept telling people, immediately you elect us, we are going to make sure that you get development, you get services. Now, I, for example, have been able to do 120 projects in the one and a half years that I have been in office. And a lot of the things that we are trying to do in Nyeri are based on the capacity to actually lobby government. And we've been able to lobby government. Okay. But let's be very honest, generally, across the region, there's a lot of displeasure and With the anger. government? Now, this is a problem I have with the way this anger has been done. Part of the problem of this anger is that it is being incited by some members of, some leaders from our region. They're inciting the ground against government. And this is the kind of thing that most probably makes the president extremely annoyed because we are his foot soldiers. If things are not working in government, we're the ones who are supposed to be out there trying to make sure we find out what is going Have wrong. Have you tried to do that? What is, what is going wrong? <laughs> Let me finish yeah. because I, I notice I'm getting yeah, yeah, the yeah. short end of this. I think <laughs> I'm sitting <laughs> no, 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 on. Okay, because I'll I'm a first timer. I'll give you a time. So uh, the, the, the problem uh, that, uh, the problem that you practice. keep having, and this is why I honestly, Hussein, wish we were not doing these campaigns we were doing. Mm -hmm. I wish we were not involved in this political competition that we're doing because it actually wastes time and effort and energy. But the reason, the problem is that we find ourselves in a situation where we are having to fight and say, no, we are not going to vote for anybody before 2022. And, and because when somebody stands up and says, we as Kikuyus are going to vote for so-and-so and I'm a Kikuyu, I have to wake up and say, no, my vote is not going to anyone until 2022. If we were not having that conversation, I would not be out there saying no. But because we have a situation where people are generalizing votes that belong to the region and saying we as a region owe a debt to this man, or we as a region owe appreciation to this man, or we as a region yeah. have a promise to this man. Yeah. I wake up and I say, look, I come from that region. I'm actually an elected leader from that region. And I know that the president has told us, and the president knows Ruto more than any one of us. And he's told us, wait, so why are we rushing? And now in the middle of that rush, we are disappointing the people who voted for us. Okay. Because so we are now involved you, in political you're competition. About, about this issue about development, and it is to all of you. Mm. I mean, Parliament allocates funds to different development yes. uh, agenda or yes. programs in this country, yes. isn't it? Yes. Who implements? It's the executive. It's the, the executive. executive. So how is politicking yeah. affecting, affecting the, the development, development or implementation? Yes. Let me tell you how politics is affecting development. We have gotten to the point where we started politicizing development. For example, a lot of last year, I remember we had all these projects that the deputy president went launching. And because I do, I'm not part of which, that team. Which, which, which should have been passed by parliament. Which were passed by parliament. So it is not something that he's doing it out of his own. Now, let me tell you where the problem is. Mm -hmm. And this is the problem of doing campaigns at the wrong time. The minute you start, even I, in Nyeri Town constituency right now, if I start doing projects with the, guy, with the narrative that I am doing them so that I get elected in 2022, you create resistance from people who do not support you, not who don't support the project. So you start finding yourself getting, and getting uh, obstacles put in the way of that project. Let me tell you, Hussein, and I'd like citizen to do this, to go back to Mount Kenya and ask me of all the 48 projects that the deputy president actually went out launching last year, how many have actually, uh, actually, have actually taken off? Why? Mm -hmm. because, because it became politics. Because you now start, so you start having yeah. a problem. Who should be blamed for that? Honorable. First and foremost, I would actually blame the deputy Honorable. president. Because he fell into he a trap. He's a deputy to the president. You see, he fell into the trap. Just, we don't even see the president doing that. All right, but you see, we don't see the president doing that. It's fine. I mean, but, uh, but, you, but know, you, you started know, by you saying, you started, yes. you, you'll speak. Yes. You started by saying, yes. these are projects by the government. Yes. Approved by the National Assembly. Yes. And parliament, isn't it? Yes. Well, so, some of them, yes. Okay, yeah. I'm, I'm <laughs> actually okay, say, it's true. Some of them were not. Some of them were being allocated approved, money. So, I mean, if they this is very much owned with the, by the deputy as much as it is owned by the president. Let me tell you something so it's not interesting. Really about and and Moses Kuria is the the government in Moses Kuria is here with me and he's a member of budget. We have had projects being advertised and money has not been allocated in budget. And people actually go to the ground and launch them. And there's no money in budget. So you're asking yourself, isn't this politics we are playing? And isn't this how we are making the public and the ground so upset with us? Because when you go to the ground and launch a and project, you think this is a, because this it, is a, listen, this is, let, let me finish, let me finish. Let me finish. Yeah. You are launching a project because you want to make people happy. But you know that money has not been allocated in the budget. So what are you doing? So what's going to happen is that after you leave, that public which is waiting for that road mm. or for that dam or for that electricity connection is not going to get it. 
And they're going to and blame the government. Are you blaming this on who? Tanga Tanga only? You this see, is a blame on the government. As we it? haven't gone launching any projects that have not been allocated as money. Who? As, as Kieleweke. The people who, are, who don't agree with Tanga Tanga but, uh, haven't gone launching any projects. Okay. I have, have made the point. You have said it is the government that... You see, we haven't gone launching any projects that have not been allocated money. I have made a point, Hussein. And I would like you to actually ask my brother here. Yes, yes. To, to whether that is true or not, that we have projects that have been co have been advertised in newspapers that do not have money allocated in the budget. What does that mean when you go and launch that project? You what know, are you, you know, doing? You know, you know, okay, okay, you, yes. You're you, know, said, you know, Wambuku has uh, spoken very well in terms of the fact that them, they have seen several projects. They even have a list of projects that have been launched and they have been stopped or halfway. Midstream. They have actually stalled. They, yeah, they have stalled. Because they hadn't you followed know, the process. They are actually busy sabotaging projects not that have been launched by the sabotaging deputy president. Now. Where would we do that? You know, you can actually even remove a budget before it comes. But to he's a deputy president. If you, have, if you have an instance to name, you, you name know, it. If you use money in you the know, budget, this is how would you stop it? You, 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 know, you know, he should have. It's said, the executive that is implementing. You know, they have so how, been how is saying, saying You know, they have been. The, the executive is supposed to implement projects. Yes. yes. The deputy president mm -hmm. is part of the executive. Okay. So his launching, Lily, is is not out of order. So how he's is an MP a, sabotaging? So it? That's how what is, I'm wondering. How is then, then, oh, sabotaging you know, it? we are the owners of the budget. We are the ones who allocate. We give money to the executives. But what they are doing now, they are using politics, and he has said it, mm -hmm. to actually demonize, to say there is no money, they were launched too early. But let me I mean, just I, say I, this. I'm just asking you, you give an instance. If you are saying that they, they withdrew, Funds from a specific budget. If that, you know, is, that you has know, ever happened, you, you know that would make uh, me very powerful you know, as a first-time member of parliament. You did, you did parliament. not ask us to bring that list because you know he has just he has <laughs> just he has just brought that thing here okay. today. And you know we are not here to wash our dirty linen. We are here to just address the challenges that we are facing. Actually, can, can as you believe, but, yeah, but I wanted yeah, yeah. to say this: the deputy president is not a guest in Jubilee. But there are people behaving as if he's a guest. You know, when you choose a deputy president, in this particular contest that you are going for presidency, then you choose a person that adds value. But you can also decide to choose um, a, a technocrat, purely a technocrat. Okay. You know, but so, so there is a problem here, if, you know. Mm. And, and uh, the budget, of course, we never give money. You know, when we allocate, sometimes the government, because because has projects has money that is not sufficient and projects don't add in a year or two mm -hmm. Be, you know you are asking because when we allocate money sometimes you may have maybe a quarter or a third or even a 10 percent of the money that is expected to complete that project and then every year the government would bring a budget that helps to complete that project. So when Gujiri sits here and tells us there are projects that have been stored, and you know obviously there is a team that has been put at Amatiang to consolidate, to bring together the projects, you know, and, and, and if you asked me actually, that could be a good thing so that okay. you look and see the implementation. If things are very bad, yeah. if things are very bad on the ground, as you say, yeah? They are not that bad. What we are saying is that uh, people are not happy because yeah. there are things that how we is, promised. How is, how is moving around, as he says, uh, and campaigning and talking about politics. How is that a solution? I never said it is a solution. I said it's first and foremost. You know when we moved around, people have, we built expectations because of the promises we made. Some of the projects he's referring to are projects that the president announced during the campaigns, projects announced by the government, mm -hmm. by the ministers, and therefore, you know, he should be telling us because they are in the government, and they have even said in churches that they are the government. I have uh, my own church, when they came to my own constituency, in my church, for whom they actually for somebody said, who yes, is they in actually your said, they said they are the government and they should even be approached for jobs. You know, we should not even be lobbying government after we have allocated funds. That we should have be it. it. should be it. We have, to, we have okay. 290 constituencies. So we, all you can divide. we can divide <laughs> the okay. money according to the needs and assessment, you know, and, 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 the, and you know, the, the requirements that we have. Honorable, Honorable yeah? Korea, and, uh, uh, we have some feedback. I want to yeah. get some feedback and you respond as well, Honorable Korea. We have Martin Day in Mombasa says, uh, on double two on our SMS platform, but double, double two for double two. It's clear beyond reasonable doubt that the politics of central region is taking a new path. It's going to be messy, noisy with Moka Joltes, uh, as the president warned. Uh, uh, still on the SMS platform. Oh, this is just too slow. Komen in Elder it says Jubilee Party is going through a self inflicted crisis. Being the ruling party, commanding a clear majority in the legislature, and relatively loyal. 
loyal executive bureaucracy since 2013, it has all the opportunities to surmount its turbulence, if it so wishes. Jubilee legislators should utilize their extraordinary energies to be part of the solutions mm -hmm. and not the contrary. Let's take a look at Twitter. Okay, this is the last SMS I gather. Uh, we have um, Mwas from Kiambu. Moses Kuria, you had a team called Team Hema. Now you have Team Wanjiku. You accused President of neglecting Central, and you said you are joining another party. Why the flip-flop from one team to another? Is it trying to position yourself as Mount Kenya presidential candidate? As you respond, Moses Kuria. <laughs> That's what you wanted to say, yeah? Hey, it is positioning myself as a candidate, yes. I'm a politician. Mm. So what's that wrong? is what, what, what's wrong? You're, no, you're no, agreeing with Moa no, saying you're, no, you're flip-flopping. Okay, let me tell you about Hema and Wanjiko. Okay. Hema is actually for me a Mount Kenya message because we are the only people arguing out there. And I'm saying we need to take a, a chill pill uh, and talk to each other mm. and, and focus on the issues of Wanjiko. So it's really no contradiction. I'm just saying Gunjiri, I'm just saying Alice, <laughs> let's stop all this tanga tanga, let's stop all this kiereweke, let's reason out together, mm. let's reach out mm. even to the president, let's look for a way for forward for Actually, Kenya. maybe you, you're yeah. answering the next, uh, that is a, a mm. tweet, tweet, tweet from Odipo Francis. Moses Kuria has never revealed his side of support. He's always opposing tanga tanga and kiereweke team. He's somewhere in between. I think he is kielewe tanga. That's what I think it is. And, and Tanga it means Kenyan. I am Kenyan. I'm neither Kerewe nor Tanga Tanga. I am for us to focus on the issues of Wanjiku. Okay. Yeah, that's very important. But let me say yeah, something yeah, because, because I, think I want to respond to, I want to say just two issues. Okay. And I hope I, I say nothing else. It is. One, you ask Alice a very important question. How is MPs moving around stopping the development? What you are saying is in a choir, I want to uh, sing Lingala and you want to, to sing reggae, and then you're asking me, how is your lingala affecting my reggae? You can, there can only be one song. Either we move around, let us stop all development, let us stop all Wanjiku issues, let us stop looking for solution. Because I, I really I am with the president on the issue of political noise. Because that political noise, even if you want to work, it's like in a classroom, one, one student wants to study, the other wants to make noise. And then the one who is making noise is, how is my noise stopping you from studying? So this is diversionary and it's, it robs us of that space. And I just wish we can be able to agree and focus on that particular issue. The second thing is, you know we are suffering from something I call the Mudaura effect. Everybody's job becomes nobody's job. And I complained about this issue before, even before the Matiangi came by. We have got so many, you know, Gojiri is absolutely right in terms of I am the vice chair of the transport committee, uh, let alone being the, in, the, in the budget committee. Mm -hmm. And we have got projects, I estimate them at 300 billion. That's true. Projects that have, were advertised and they were tendered for. And, you know, at the point of award, we realize there's no money. And for me, that's very. And unfortunately, very, some of them were launched. Yeah? And let me not come to the launching or no launching. Let me come to, see, to this. What should we be doing? Even if that rule, and I, I know even some are in Alice's constituency, some are in your constituency. I know, I, I have got all the data. There is a lot of roads in Morang, I can tell you, a road uh, called Mioro there, which was advertised four years ago, until now has not been awarded because there's no money in the budget. If I was Tanga Tanga, if I was Tanga Tanga, what would I do? Going to the ground is not going to solve this problem. I would mm -hmm. sit in office and, and clog the system because the system is clogged. Mm -hmm. I'm calling it the Mudaura effect because Mudaura used to do this. But there's, now there's no one. But he, and I think, I think if I was a deputy president, yeah. I would sit in office and say, give me a file of all those things that are not moving. I'll make sure they move from my office, yet, not from yet, the ground. Yet, yet yeah? that is also your role as the oversight. The, the oversight role you need to play. Isn't Absolutely. But, but he, and here, this is you, Moses Kuria. Maybe you can, uh, you can clarify this. This is you, and you, you apologize for this, actually. Yeah. But this was you early this year. You were quoted as saying, as we enter 2019, you, that is voters, must think our responsibility is not just to vote, and after voting, we, that is the government we form, take development to other regions. That kind of nonsense must stop. You said again, and I quote you, we want the president to also commission water projects, roads, and electricity when he comes here. We were with him in Kisumu when he commissioned a road project, but when he visits Kiambu, he only issues certificates to recovering alcoholics. You want us to have that discussion again? I will not join you. No, I'm just, I mean, that it's, it's a matter of principle. You. We have talked about principle. this issue and finishing. It's okay. Oh, I'm, but, I'm and just by the way, let me do something. There's nothing wrong with Mount Kenya demanding development. That's fine. That's yeah, what there's I'm nothing wrong. That's why I'm talking about all these projects that are stored. There's nothing wrong with Mount Kenya demanding for roads. There's nothing wrong with Mount Kenya demanding water. There's nothing yeah, wrong with the water. It is passed by parliament. Yeah? It is passed by parliament, isn't it? Uh, absolutely. But yeah, you know so what happens? Yeah. I'm a member of the budget committee. Mm -hmm. Let me give you an example, uh, Hussein. Mm -hmm. 
in a budget of three trillion, do you know how much the budget committee changed? Eleven billion. Take your calculator, calculate out percentage. Mm. It is essentially because of the way our political system architecture works. It is a, essentially a, an executive budget. It is not our budget. And you know, I was in the, uh, that committee for one week. And the CS Rutich and PS Duke were there pleading, please guys, I beg you, I am nervous on my back because of the deficit. Don't change anything. And we try to be responsible Kenyans. 11 billion out of 3 trillion is a much reg room that we had as parliament to change. And by the way, look at our three roles as members of parliament. I must legislate, I must oversight, but I must also represent. represent. Let me school you. Legislate, <laughs> oversight, and represent. Okay. But, but I mean, as we I finish mean, this, I want I to get mean, to But, but obviously, mean, Moses has now shifted from that statement. He, I think. You know, that's what I'm saying. I have that's, not that's shifted. What I'm asking. I have that's not shifted. I'm asking, I have not shifted. But what, this, I'm, this what, what, what I'm doing, what, what I'm doing, by tanga tanga, how much of that am I solving? Mm -hmm. Then why did you do it? Why yeah? did you, how much? I'm, so I'm, you're I'm, withdrawing this. No, I'm not withdrawing these issues. But even if I withdraw, I will make an answer to myself because that's what the people are saying. So what I mean, yeah. that's what people are saying. That's what the people are saying. Ask Gojiri in the eye. Gojiri in the eye. Look at Gojiri in the eye and tell him, ask him, you and nearly people are happy? Actually, the Hussein, truth is, let me tell you. the people were very unhappy when Moses appeared like he was apologizing. Yeah? And you, by Hussein, the way, you can, we can cover these things, but in the fullness of time, Hussein. they will come out. What am I agreeing with Gojiri and with the president is even How if we tanga tanga 70 yeah. times. Yes. It will not solve this problem. We need to sit back Actually, and provide a solution. Let me tell you, I, and I'm going to keep insisting so this. I wish we had, I wish we would stop doing campaigns all over the place, okay. all of us. Because if we did that, we would be able to, as Moses says, we'd be able to unclog where these projects are getting stuck. Yes, exactly. And then we would not politicize these projects. It will not look like they are going to a certain place because you support a certain person, and then they don't go to a certain place because you don't support a certain person. Because that's also one of the perceptions that exists that is clogs things up. Okay. So, for example, where you get to a situation where people are, some people start saying that there's been no project in Nyeri because Gunji doesn't support the deputy president. And I'm like, but projects don't come through the deputy president. You see, okay. so but the, problem all, about, but yeah. the problem about Gigi, our politics, have, let me finish. We have let me finish. That the project about the problem about the noise, and, and going back to where the president was saying, stop the noise. The problem about the noise is that in the middle of that noise, we don't actually talk about the important things. Okay. We don't talk about, let's, so let's, let, let me tell you something. Sorry, let me, yeah, 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 let yeah, me finish. Yeah, yeah. Please give me, yeah, yeah, give me sure, time. Sure, sure, sorry, you see, yeah. what has been happening, for example, I have 99.4% electricity connection in my constituency. I'm looking for 6%. This guy... I, in, he invited me to his place in his first term. He got a 100% electricity connection. So even as we say some things, even as we say things are not happening. They're, it's just that they're not happening the way we'd want them to happen. We have, and they're happening in different levels. Some people, uh, you'll have people in Kenya who are upset about water. I don't have a water problem in my place. But I have a problem on security. Okay. Somebody else, Alice has a problem with roads. So the, the problem about making, problem ju, making con combined noise mm is that we don't yeah, even listen absolutely. to each other. And so now, whereas we people should be talking to Moses and myself mm -hmm. about how you have 100% electricity connection, mm -hmm. we're not talking. Sadly, that is not the reality. Yes. Let's talk about this issue that uh, many of you, some of you, or many of you, whichever way you look at it, or whichever side you belong to, uh, say is the cause, or maybe major cause of this, the handshake, <laughs> okay? And uh, I mean, we've had those who say, uh, uh, the pre and, and I actually had an interview with the deputy president, I think, a month ago, and he actually said he, didn't, he, never, he was never for the idea when Raila Odinga approached him. Those were his words. And of course, he did it because the president went ahead to, to, do, to do it. I mean, we've had them talk. We have, we've had his troops talk, and they say uh, uh, Odinga and team are there to divide the party, and they are also doing politics. Case in point, just last week when uh, Honda Bombardi was asking the president, uh, in Nyanza to name his successor, that his successor should be A, B, C, D. Yet they are the ones who are saying people should not politic. Uh, I'll start with you, Honda Wali Sohome. What do you feel of the handshake? What do you, you feel of you, them? What has know, it done you to you? You know, I think the problem with the handshake, uh, with the handshake is the fact that, uh, you, know, you know, the beginning I said that uh, when you are in a, you know, you know, we don't have a coalition government ourselves, but we have very many parties and partners. You know, I don't know what you want to call that. We call ourselves Jubilee, but we have a bigger family than just a jubilee. All those people are supposed to be involved in a hardship. It's good that the, the jubilee president, party. The, jub, no, the jubilee party and the affiliates. We mm -hmm. are actually 14 parties. 
So even as we speak here as if we are jubilee, we are the only people who assisted to form the government, I think that would actually be very wrong. So therefore, when the hardship occurred between Raira Odinga and His Excellency the President, then there was a lot of expectation that then it will flow so that it can be understood by the rest of the party members mm -hmm. in, in Jubilee and outside. And today, if we are to be very honest to Kenyans, we've never had a sitting as Jubilee to be told what it is or how we should they deal with it. They have explained though. The I, president and and uh, you know, and Raila Odinga have explained you know, about the answer. You know, you know, you know. This is there where was this we are nine point agenda in the statement. That this, wasn't enough. This for is you? where we are not understanding. You mm -hmm. see, we are elected members of parliament. There are forums and platforms that you actually sit, like he has said. If we were to sit, we we may be able to understand each other. But you know, when you I go to a political rally or into maybe a barrio, and I say this is how the hard shake should occur, or in the national prayer breakfast, you see, that is to demonstrate that you have had a hard shake. Do you think but then you come back and discuss and open it up to the rest of Kenyans, period. And then maybe people can appreciate. From hard shake, then we move to BBI. Hussein, to date, BBI is now what is going around. You know it has no legal framework. It is not anchored in law. It is drawing Kenyan money. You know, who formed the BBI? And you know, when we are talking about maybe coming with proposals that will affect the constitution or will change the constitution participation, even at the formation stage. And you're saying this is not in subordination? It is not what All is these you're saying. You know, I'm not I an mean, employee of the executive. <laughs> you're a member, I'm an employee of, you're a member of, of the, the Jubilee people. Party. Hold you're on. Oh, let me just finish, no. then you, you respond. Yeah. You're a member of the Jubilee Party. The president has urged you to support this uh, handshake and everything in it, that it is good for the country. And even, I mean, when he was talking uh, last week, he even talked about a roadmap and taking you somewhere. Where? You're, I don't know, you'll you, you, you yeah. figure that out. But the thing is, you're saying you don't support all this stuff. Okay, Gujiri. Uh, it's, it's Gujiri, two, Gujiri says later, one and a half, there is the handshake, and yeah. in fact, he has come to present at the BBI. And you know, I've said, we've never sat as members of parliament, as job members of Jubilee. Now you are saying it is in subordination to say I have a challenge in understanding or in appreciating the hardship. That cannot be in subordination. You know, even in politics, even in political parties, there is room for democracy, mm -hmm. room to express yourself. Mm -hmm. And we must, don't think that is we must yeah. encourage that because these people, you know him, he came from ODM before. And you know in ODM there is no much democracy. But they, Ruto came from there as well. Yeah, even Ruto <laughs> came from there. So, and I'm not saying he did it. What I'm saying is that there is a That's history of people wanting to dictate to others. And I think His Excellency did not mean that. I expect that there will be then time to actually explain or let bring it on board to discuss. So I don't agree that it's in subordination. You know, I mean, we had a, dem a what democratic is your fear? What is your fear with the handshake and the I don't BBI have and everything? Do I mean, you have any fears I just, or...? You want us, Hussein, as a country to just follow something that, you know, like the president said, he, is, uh, he wants to take his people somewhere. Now, not the nation, his people, because he was speaking to the region somewhere and he has decided which route it is. Actually, I don't know which route it is. We I mean, don't know. So I don't know what you're asking us to do. And we will come on board when he comes now and explains. So you're not on board. Nobody, you're not on board. That's what you're saying. I don't know it. I don't know what it is. Hussein, I'm personally 100% on board with Hanshik. And this is my reason. First and foremost, I have no personal problem with Raila Odinga. The only reason I was fighting with him was because he was stopping my candidate from being president. Now, when my candidate wakes up and tells me that Gujiri, this fight is over, now me and Raila are friends, why would I, stop? Why would I continue fighting Raila Odinga? He's not running for member of parliament in any town. So we are competing, and we are competing. You see, the people who are competing were Raila Odinga and Uhuru Kenyatta, mm -hmm. and they competed viciously. Right? Okay. I was supporting Uhuru Kenyatta in that competition. Then Uhuru comes and says the competition is over. We're no longer in a competition. So the first question I ask myself is why would I continue? Uh, fighting Raila Odinga after the people who the person I was fighting for, him for tells me the fight is over. Okay. First, first problem. Second problem. Let's be very honest, Hussein. Once you remove 2022 politics, nobody has a problem with handshake. So what nobody has a problem with handshake. Why? Because, what you happens, think, yeah. because you see, what let me tell you why. Why the people who have a problem with handshake have a problem with handshake? Because the handshake affects the trajectory that had been planned towards 2022. Does it? No. As far as I'm concerned, it doesn't. Why? Let me tell you 
How as does far as I am concerned, it doesn't. Because okay. right now, we have things, citizenship brought peace now. Okay. It brought national cohesion now. Okay. It now, allowed us to be able to have a united let me to to stop. It, it allowed us, it allowed us to, have, to be able to speak together across political divides now. Okay. So the, 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 yes. my, last point, my last point on that issue is that the, when you start having a, people having a problem with the handshake, you will hear them saying, but you know, this thing has come to spoil our party. The president himself publicly stated that this handshake is not affecting Jubilee at all. He is the party leader of Jubilee Party. And he said this handshake is not affecting Jubilee. But I still have people who go around saying this handshake is undermining the party. Okay. The leader of the party has it is not. Right. So I ask myself, who are these people fighting the handshake, fighting on behalf of? Because certainly it's no longer who we that. Okay, I just want to ask you this question. Yeah. Today, uh, this is a story we did earlier. You were before the BBI, yeah. the Bridges Initiative. Yep. And there have been calls for uh, changes to the structure of the yes. government. Yes. Yeah. How is not not interfering with the trajectory to 2022? Because it doesn't that stop. Is, that is, you see, let me just finish. Yes. Let me just finish. Yes. That is a governance structure. Yes. Meaning, some people would want to have a different governance structure by 2022. Yes. It affects the politics of 2022, whether yes. you like it or not. But you see, this is the problem, uh, Hussein. How are we having a conversation right now about 2022 and you haven't even finished the work for now? Number one. Number two, if you want to run for president in 2022, whether you're running in this governance structure or the next one, you can still run for president. Don't stop a good idea or don't stop us debating a good idea because you think it is so going to affect you. So in either way, it will affect. You are saying, no, no. You're saying the fallacy is that it will affect 2020. It will affect the ambitions of certain individuals. Either way, it, will, it, 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 is, it, is, a it is a political process. Yes, but you see now, the issue is this. We are not even supposed to be having a conversation about uh, uh, who is going to be president in 2022 now. Okay. So yeah, when no, you start that, saying, no, yeah, okay. you, you get my point. All right, okay. So when you I'm start getting saying, your point on one hand, my point, is, getting, simple. My, my point is very simple. Politics is not about... Uh, Moses what about, what wants what to run for president. Yes. But then he's going to tell me that that do not have a conversation about handshake because if you continue with this conversation about handshake, yes. you might affect my chances of becoming president. How is that? Okay. How is you're, that you're, important? You're, you're only saying one side. Are you talking about? No, but those are the, that's what I'm hearing. All right, let me just finish. Yes. You're talking about 2022 and handshake uh, regarding personalities. I'm yes. talking about a structure or structural changes that could affect the politics. But you see, that also affects 2022. But you see, that is not the fight. That is not the fight. The people. Sorry, let me finish because you asked yes. me the question. Let me finish. The the, the 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 fight that people who have a fight with the handshake have has nothing to do with the governance structure of 2022. Their problem is that Raila amekuja kuharibu chama ya jubilee. Amekuja kusimamisha William Ruto kutoka kuwa president. Now, how is that? a conversation you're supposed to be having about a, a, a handshake that actually brought peace to the whole country. We are now having a debate about whether it's a good thing or not mm -hmm. because it affects the ambitions of one person. Mm -hmm. I personally have a major problem with that. And that is why I'm like, there's a certain very close-sighted look by the people who are fighting the handshake mm -hmm. on that basis. That this person who has been introduced by the... And you know, we all follow Uhuru Kenyatta as our party leader. Yeah. Eh? And then we are here correcting him and telling him, boss, you know, this guy you've brought is destroying your house. Uhuru is insisting, no, he's not. Then you're like, yes, he is. I'm like, I don't, I don't, okay. okay, let's quickly really respond first, then you, then you, you will. <laughs> I wish you would give her a chance. Because, uh, <laughs> I will, I will. Because um, I have so much to say on yeah, this, let me on just, this uh, uh, handshake <laughs> issue. You know, <laughs> you know, we have got um, <laughs> the reference. She's, she's, she's taking the, the chance. chance. No, 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 let, let Kuria no, speak please. first. No, 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 let's talk no. about Kuria speak. It's okay, I'll come to you. No, 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 no. Let, let, let her speak. Let the lady speak. When I speak, no one has always speak about this issue. All right. Hussein, Let's go on over, well, you man. know, this country is full of uh, hypocrisy. Gujiri here should be very honest and tell us what he presented today is a change of governance structure. Yes. And that governance that is not structure, personalized. You, if you want to occupy any position in the governance structure, you will start the process now, put in place a system that may favor you at the end of the day in 2022. And indeed, there are those people who are thinking the way the structure today is, they are not likely to be elected. Like and who? therefore, they are going through Gojiris and the others and, and coming with a hard shake and... Ha Let me finish. Mm -hmm. Hard shake and BBI, instead of telling Kenyans that that is another political movement. And you know... That's what this, you think this is? Not I think. That is what I feel. And I understand it to be. Because you see, you have to read politics in these things. How is it that even the people sitting there, majority of them are politicians? Very, you know, 
if, if you look at even the issues that are coming on board, by end of the day, and you will tell us, when the report comes, okay. it will be debated in Parliament. It is, a, it is actually a strategy for the Kiereweke team okay. to attain power they are, in 2022. So yeah. they mm. should not interfere with those who are now going Kiereke to the people have a candidate. and telling them, you know, you know, you, you know you are a candidate. We don't have a candidate. Your candidate is right. No, we don't mm. have a candidate. Uh -huh. Then it could be. I've just put it on okay. record. Okay. We okay. don't have a candidate. Uh, honorable, honorable, Our candidate okay. is Uhuru Kenyatta. We just elected him last two years ago. Honorable Hame, honorable Hame. When you talk could about when you talk about this being a political movement, yeah. well, I mean uh, the handshake mm. being a, a political movement. I don't know how how you can I mean, how you justify that. Either way, there's this big debate always about party democracy, a right to speech or right to your freedom of expression, and of course towing the party line. The president, your party leader has said time and again over the last one and a half years that this handshake is for the good of the country, it is not political, do not bring any politics into it. What you're telling me in other words is you're telling the president, so you're telling the president off. You know even in a, class, a, jubilee in, in a classroom when a teacher presents uh, a subject, students are entitled to ask questions. They put their hands up. Have they you asked ask him questions. questions? We have, have, we have called for a questions? meeting. It has not occurred. Let me move from uh, there. No, 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 a no, no, party, no, no, no. Okay, you'll, you'll move. As you've an called, individual, you've called you the know, meeting as, uh, we have asked the party to call for a meeting. Okay. I'll it has you, not happened. I'll, Let us hope that it's going to happen. So, and you know, you are following this issue of, of, of insubordination. You know, there is even right now nothing, no machinery that is happening in the party that then will be able to tell me this is how Alice you should behave. Don't close this line. Okay. You know, somebody, and just, when you leave somebody just pointed to me out that recently uh, MPs... I wanted to finish you before you ask me. You will, and I'll, I'll let you yeah. finish. Mm. And, uh, recently there was, a, there was a kamkunji about allowances, yeah? yeah? And all MPs somehow find a way to meet, including from different parties, including Jubilee. So why is it so difficult for you to meet? You have a chief whip. Uh, in you Parliament. See, Why see, is it so difficult for you, you to Why are you wait? Are you saying you're waiting we for the president to come? We are waiting. Uh, waiting we are you? saying the president, it is true, he's the party leader. Yes. The deputy president is the, the deputy, deputy party leader. Party but leader. you can meet as and MPs, isn't it? Even That's if what? you meet, you need them to actually be part and parcel of the conception and the meeting. Okay. But let me say this. You know, you are saying yeah. that because this party, the head of the party is His Excellency the President, and we respect him a lot, mm. and we actually take on board most of his ideas. Mm -hmm. But you know, when you now say that he has said this, some of these things are being brought by Akinangujiri and others, they go there behind the scene and they imagine that it, they want us to believe it is the President. Like what? Party, so like what are you saying? Uh, a party. Like what? I mean, no, no, no. Anyway, some of those let me first finish this. Some of those no, it's only important. I will, some I will those say that. Yeah, am I, am I managing? Yeah, yeah. I, I, is she I'll, suggesting I'll, I'll, let, let that I'm finish. managing the president? Hold on. I mean, let really. me finish. I didn't say you not even reaching the president. That's what I said. But you are pretending that you are the government. But the president All just told us, us, told us exactly what we have been saying. The party is not owned by an individual. But what is saying? But it can be saying? led yes. by an individual. Yes. Go, uh, you know, you asked about party democracy, and towing internal the line, isn't me yeah. mechanisms. Yeah. The era of towing the line, if you asked me, it's over. Okay. Even the president does I'll not want psychophants in and his party. I don't think he would encourage psychophants. He wants people who what? can contribute. But you know, Gojiri, uh, the, Gojiri is imagining that the party belongs to him or to one person. Okay. The party belongs to the people who voted for this government and for you this know, the party. The president said because of that he will crush you. Okay. Either way. The deputy president is the deputy party leader. But Let me just finish you, the question. Yeah. You, you'll respond mm. to both. The deputy president is the deputy party leader. You've also been meeting him. You've been talking about him. You've seen him. Why, haven't, have you talked, talked, why uh, haven't you talked to him about convening a party meeting? We have uh, talked to him. And we have also asked the SG. And if the president has yet to agree that the meeting be convened, and I think that is, that's going to happen. I believe it is going to happen. The, you know, you are, not, you are not taking this point. Let me express this point. <laughs> the party right now is supposed to be going to the grassroots to get the mandate of the people because we were elected by the people. Okay. But right now, the party is now only this, you know, it's, it's two, three, four people. They want you out. Yeah. Honorable uh, to crash. they want you out to crash. for not towing the line. Who, who want me out? Is, they, they, they you know, that I today. was elected by the people of Kandara. You want to remove me? We will. It doesn't matter what your party leader says. That's what you say. No, I didn't say it doesn't matter. I need also you to... You are at complete... My I view, mean, my view Hussein, is important. It's irrespective fine of, of what, what the party leader yes. says. That's what I'm saying. My That's view is asking. important. So, honorable Korea. I want to weigh in on this issue. 
of the handshake. And let me tell you, Hussein, mm. this is the elephant in the room. <laughs> All these other millennials we are speaking is just, you know, red herrings and come off the for the really because I think I, I, I attribute all these problems we have in Jubilee to the handshake. We have got three versions of the handshake, three gospels. The gospel according to Raira <laughs> and his people, the, the gospel according to uh, William Ruto and his people, and, and the gospel according to President Kenyatta. And I'll go through these three gospels. The Raira gospel, and I'm saying this because, you know, I frequently visit Kisumu and I have got a lot of, I'm the second most popular uh, person in Kisumu mm -hmm. after Raira Odinga, you know, you can say that for uh, <laughs> So I, I, I know what and his are, people. And you are inside with him. Uh, yeah, yeah, he's, he's my good friend. You. Yeah. So according to what people tell me, in, especially in Ruo Nyanza, the handshake means the following. The handshake means that uh, Raira will be president and uh, Uhuru will be prime uh, executive minister. prime minister. Mm. Yeah, in that government, and then you know, Kalonzo and Musalia and Gideon Moy. That's and, the you know, that, that will be there. And they believe the now it's not a question of whether, they believe it's a question of when, when, when that is going to happen. Who and believes? The people in, in, in Raira's, uh, and that's what, what you saw. I mean, that, that is an assumption. No, no, Supporters. I'm telling you, this is empirical because I got There's nothing empirical about that. No I mean, you can, you can say, no I mean, it's, your, it's your right, it's your freedom of. It's, your right, anyway, it's not scientific. scientific. Anyway. But there's nothing scientific about no, no, that. It's not scientific, yeah. but even what you saw from John Buddy. That you know that combination is the only one which can be able to take forward the war against corruption, and sometimes I shudder with fear. If that does not happen, how do you get those people to to come down from that you know high pedestal of expectation? So that's the gospel according to Raira's people. I'm not saying Raira himself. That, but that, that yeah, is that's your, one. That is Two. your view. Yeah. The gospel according to Ruto and Tanga Tanga is that the handshake was brought to put Raira into power. And the handshake was brought to extend uh, Uhuru Kenyatta's grip on power. And the handshake was brought to remove, uh, to, to stop William Ruto from being president to when he was when he was this close, and to extend the dynasty. Those are the two. Let me speak mm. what I think again, not as scientific about mm. the gospel according to Uhuru Kenyatta. And I'm saying this because you know, in the year 2008, I was saying. I was on the ground after the post-election violence with the and I mean, Goji is my witness to that, you know, with the president in so many places. At one time, we went to a place called Rurigi in Burnt Forest, and we were contemplating building a wall, you know, like the Mexican wall, to protect the Kikuyus there. And then we ask ourselves, are we going to cage our people like goats instead of investing in friendship and love and peace and long-lasting peace that can be able to secure our people? And we made that resolution. That is not walls and police posts and armies mm -hmm. that are going to protect you and to, to ensure that we live well in this country. It is long-lasting peace. From what I saw in 2017, if that is the same thing that the president saw, he saw that to protect and to ensure that, one, all the people of Kenya, but significantly so, also the people from our community. It is only long-lasting peace with everyone. So I think the president is 110% genuine on that particular issue. But both Kanga Tanga, both Raila's people are dishonest on this because they get the same version. And you know, how did I find out? How, how, how did I take the handshake when it came? I was a first politician before a week. Congratulate. Oh, congratulate. Not even congratulate. I went to see Raila Odinga mm. and I asked him, Jacob, tell me what is this? And he told me, we have agreed that uh, he gave me the example of that elephant. Some people said, what is this? They, say, they touched the task and they said, it's a hard thing. Others touched the ears and he's still there. Nobody until now what the elephant is. You know, in 1991, during the uh, section 2A, Moi could have said, Twende upande hu, nakira mutu wa fuate. Instead, okay. he took people to Kasarani. Right. And he let people, don't cut me short. No, 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 I'm not cutting He you. gave people time to ventilate. Yeah. I, until we have a party resolution. And I'll be the first one to move that resolution to support the handshake. I'll be the first one to move it. Because we cannot live like this forever. I cannot fight this fight against uh, some communities and some parties and some regions, and then I bequeath to my children the same fight. It is completely nonsensical. It doesn't make sense. We have to get a solution. We cannot live the way we saw in 2017, where we almost two countries. Yep. You know, we cannot. I cannot. I, I, will, I will be the last person to oppose the handshake, if the purpose of the handshake is to ensure that in this country, every time there's an election. Is that the purpose? 
Is that what you think the purpose is? That is what is in Uhuru's mind. That is I'm not asking about what is in your mind. I'm asking about that you. Is, that is it. My purpose is to ensure that we have... What is the purpose of the handshake according to you? I have given you the reversions. Of them? Of what you think of them? I'm, I'm, I, I'm I can only tell for the person I know best, that is Uhuru oh. Kenyatta, that he was in it. Maybe right now you guys didn't know it, but from what I can John Bali is saying and his people, okay. they are seeing it as another yeah, thing. Right. Let me tell you another big problem, because yes. you asked ask, uh, Alice a question. Oh. Why can't we meet as Jubilee, even without Uru and Ruth and all these people, and try to make sense of this? The other problem is that the leadership of the house is one-sided. It is all tanga tanga. You go to the... Uh, to the it, it is, is the truth. Because me, I would I want mean, us to have this discussion. I would leader, the way we, I, I, as you say, the way we met about our, our, our house and ours. I would want Duale and Murukomen so as our called? majorities. Mm. But you see now, mm. Speaker of Senate, Tanga Tanga. Susan Gihika, eh? Tanga Tanga. Murukomen, Tanga Tanga. tanga. Right. Washiali, Tanga Tanga. Duale, Tanga Tanga. You know, what are you saying? By the way, I'm just saying that really we need to stop all these tanga tanga and karaoke things. Get together, and we we should be having parliamentary group meetings. All right. Whether Uhuru Kenyatta is and William Ruto we, is we, there or we, not there. We have to wind this up. Vincent Awange on, on Twitter the problem, says, from this debate it seems Jubilee is imploding. And I remember over the weekend in Muranga, one of the people that <laughs> uh, raised her hand and said she is now ready to unite the house and the problems and bedeviling the party is Governor Ann Waiguru. And I'll ask you about her plus what you think is the way forward now. And as I do that, I'll give you the last uh, chance to respond to all this and ask you this question from Ivali Jr. who says, Gujiri is forgetting what Deputy ODM leader Joho said. He was told by Raila that his sole job is to stop the DP from ascending to power. They have no other assignment actually. <laughs> so you want me to uh, respond uh, about what Joho said? But no. Jo, uh, sorry. I mean, the, in other words, he's just trying to say I'm not a member the handshake ODM, is about... I have no idea. I have just listened to Moses articulate the three points. And me, fine, I am, I mean. me, I'm stuck on the one of Uhuru's That's philosophy. Sick. That's where I am. That's fine. I'm just saying. Yes. I mean, from, I understand what Ivali Jr. is trying to say. Yes. Is that Raila Odinga is the leader of ODM. Isn't you it? See, Let me just finish. Yes. I and get your point. I get your point. I get your point. Deputy party leader said that the sole purpose is to fight the deputy president. But you know, if you, use, if you use the same logic, the deputy party leader of our party is fighting the handshake. I mean, I'm... I'm, I'm you get what I'm just, saying? Just so, answer my question. No, yeah. what, what I oh, think... Oh, Ivali's question. I yes, think, yeah. what, what I think is that we need to believe and trust that our leaders, Uhuru Kenyatta for our side, and Raila Odinga for their side, know what they're doing. We need to stop second-guessing them. This handshake has brought positives, a lot more positives. The only negative it has brought is politics. If we could remove the politics and you don't trust, them. when you say we trust our leaders, uh, the president yeah. and I thought uh, we are supposed to and the, the and the and the and no, 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 no. on this handshake, let's be honest. Deputy? No, no, no. You, you see, the, the two leaders, the people who are running for president, deputy president was running for president. The two leaders who he actually not and yeah, all the handshake, people who is part no, of the handshake. He's not part of the handshake. Let's be honest. Let me finish. It was supposed to unite everyone. You see, he is not part of the handshake. I'm trying to make a very simple point, and Alice is jumping into something. Ruto is not part of the handshake. The same way Moses Kuria is not part of the handshake. Alice is not part of the handshake. I am not part of the handshake. That handshake was done by two people who were in a near. Death fight. Let me finish. Here. No, 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 but no, the handshake will outlive Laila and Uhuru. Yes, it, it is a national project. I'm talking about it. project. No, it cannot be a project. Let me tell you. It cannot be a project. You see, two people. I am trying. Two people. This, this guy could have me. This guy could have me. By the time the project is finished, you want me to speak. Two years down the line. You see, we cannot finish this show by saying the handshake is a project of two people. I am trying to make a point. Let me jump out of Kenya. You'll get a chance. You'll get a chance. You'll get a chance. You'll get a chance. This cannot be a project. It cannot be a project. You see. See, he has the right to say what he believes. Want to okay, let me, let me I'm trying to make a very simple yeah. point. This handshake was initiated by two people. Two for, for, for 50 million. No, 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 no. On behalf of It who? was initiated by two people. On behalf one of One on behalf of Jubilee Party, the other one on behalf of NASA. And what is so difficult Kenyans, to making international project? What is so difficult? That is what BBI is trying to make But you see, BBI is trying, I'm trying to make my point. BBI is out there trying to make this handshake a national project. Right? My presentations to BBI today were well, because I recognize okay. that there's a task force that is trying to make a handshake that started with two people a national project. No, the president no, 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 keeps no, no, telling they, us. They gave, they, gave the, they gave the mandate. 
They give the they, mandate they to BBI the, let, let to finish. go around the country. Yes, but they talked about ethnic antagonism, lack of a national ethos, inclusivity, yes. devolution, divisive bad, elections, bad elections blah, 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 blah. Affecting who? Let me finish. Affecting, Affecting 50 million Kenyans. Exactly. So it's now, about, it's about everybody. And Hussein, this is, a, this is a problem about people not accepting where we are at. We only have one leader at a time. Right? Okay. Right now, the only president this country has is Uhuru Kenyatta. Not Uhuru Kenyatta and William Ruto. Not Uhuru Kenyatta and Raila Odinga. Not Uhuru Kenyatta and Moses Kuria. You know dictators are made by people like this. No, 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 no. <laughs> but you see, <laughs> I'm trying to make, make like let a him, point. Let him, let him make yeah. a we point only have yeah. one president at a time. The same way we only have one member of parliament in Kandara at a time. That's true. You get? Yeah. So don't say it's about dictatorship. It is just about structure of government. Now, the leader we have at this time, Uhuru Kenyatta, decided that he wants to lead the country into a process of national reconciliation by, through a symbolic handshake with the person who was his primary rival in the last election. Okay. The person who made this country, as Moses says, nearly split okay. in the middle. You know. It, it was to unite everybody. Yes. Isn't it? Yes. It was to unite everybody. It's not any including specific you, people. Including, Myself, including you, William including Ruto, yeah. this, is Alice, Alice Wahome. this is a shallow view of the hardship. Well, this and is my view. Speaking, you have the opinion to choose, to choose the way it is. And I have the me, right my, to, me, I think it's very deep. I have, right, I have the right to actually agree with you or not. So True. I'm saying it's a very shallow view in the present Kenya. You know we have a new constitution, Hussein. He was one of the people actually promoting the constitution, talking about transparency, talking about inclusivity, talking about democracy, talking about you know participation of the people. So if in this era Gojiri is staring us that the handshake is about two people just come from that Moses has said it is not possible. Two years down the line, if it was the first one no. month, it is possible to accept what he said. But so that I have because an idea, an idea can be for one he, person, he but the idea, but an Today. idea. Mm. Okay, you know, okay, let, 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 let like three hundred. Let 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 you know, you have said what you wanted to say, that you want us all Kenyans to leave this country. You know, we have fought for the space, freedom of choice, freedom of speech, you know, participation in political, whatever, you know, discourse. Now Gojiri wants us to throw all that and say, look, when you read the constitution, so and so, the rest of us have read the constitution. When, you present, when Gojiri presents the BBI, I mean, that's not everybody else. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's what you're saying. No. Nobody is questioning, and I want to be on record, mm. nobody is questioning that the President, His Excellency, is the head of state, the head of government, and commander-in-chief. But he has people that he leads. When you are leading people, you tell us, them, for example, if you are going on a journey, that we are going to Nairobi, but if we are coming us. from Mobasa, so that they can prepare themselves for the journey. Maybe even you carry food and an extra dress, because you want to know how long is the journey. Two years down the line, Gojiri, you are busy cooking that thing so that you bring a report who? that is one-sided. Who is cooking? Why, why have you already made that? But you see, you've already made a, the, okay. You know, we are in. You've this, already made an assumption. We are in this era. Which we are era, in I mean? this. We are, in, we, we are in the same party. We hear what they are saying. They are even saying now. You know, Moses said a very important thing that there, were, there is right now an expectation even from members of ODM, and that's why they are saying they have been shortchanged that they would get two ministers after a reshuffle, okay. which is, is good. Uh, you know, I mean, th I mean, that's now. just speculation, okay? It's no, no, not, no. There's nothing you know, factual about that. There's nothing factual about that. That's Because uh, me, I haven't had, and I'm with them a lot more times than you are. So, and I haven't had them saying anything like that. Okay, Moses will finish this up and, and uh, give you a round to just talk about what, let, the way forward. Let us forward. be honest to Kenyans. Uh, uh, honorable, honorable, Kenyans honorable Hobbit, this is a message from David Morade. He's just texted and said, please ask Alice, how come they have never held a neck meeting or a PG meeting since they chased me? And he's, he's using, quote unquote, when he's, used the, he's saying the word chest, eh? since they chased me from the party, because when I interviewed him here, he said he was never chased from the Actually, party. Actually, okay. he, was, he, was, he was not chased by me. It's okay. Or by us. <laughs> let, let me just so, finish. Yeah. So he's just saying. Yeah, that's one uh, question. How, come, how yeah. come they have never held a neck meeting or a PG meeting since yeah. they, quote unquote, chased me from the party? Also, if they are the government today and the rest are the opposition, why the obsession with 2022 instead of delivering the mandate so that they can be re-elected in 2022? What is it that they cannot do now that they will do in 2023? First and foremost, Murade Sat has, was never elected by anybody. He was appointed to be in that office. He should be grateful that we actually also fund the party because every month, all members of parliament contribute 10,000. You never 000. had a problem with so that. So he should not be speaking to me like that because when you are the vice chair also, 
you actually he's no longer the vice chair he's no longer the vice chair yeah. when you were you know you know he's referring to since he left yes some of the problems we are going through he's the one who planted we should be dealing but with elected, like elected and appointed should not make they, a difference, of course, really, in, in terms they of really, no, 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 Hold on. Hussein, Ele you know, you, you just said Murade should not Murade was be thrown appointed okay, I mean, no. for the position yeah. of the party. It doesn't make him and any you, less of a person than compared it, to a person who is elected. It does because he does not speak for the people, the members of the party. But you have entrusted him with the party position of vice who chair. Who elected him? Either way, okay, that's, you, you that's know, what I'm going to I think Hussein, you need to understand the party the party mechanisms. How do you get leaders to represent members, the grassroots people, membership and officials? There is a difference of membership. You know, parties actually should belong to the members. And then elect officials to represent them, to speak for them. I don't know who he was working for actually, okay. but, but you have he a problem was now. nevertheless yeah. the vice chair. He's asking, yeah. how come we have never met? Because of course, even when he was there, there was no planning, there was nothing being done to enable the party to meet. I cannot myself, I wish I can call a, a PG. I have no authority to call the PG. There are people with authority to call the PG. But you can find a way to call the PG. You can, you, there Look, are efforts. You can MP talk to the PG. The cannot weep. call a PG. No, of course not. But I'm yeah. saying there's a caucus. You can talk to we other people. We have spoken and enough, and I think we are speaking to the walls yeah. and saying, yeah. call a PG. Okay. We have said it in public rallies. I don't, I don't want to. Moses has said it. Yeah. Gojiri has also said it. Okay, no, me, I actually yeah. don't think we need a PG. Yes. You don't think we need a PG. Exactly. Despite all this that is happening. Yes. The ball, These are the problems. Me, I don't think we need a PG. Okay. I think tongue in cheek, I'll interpret this at the risk of Murade getting angry with me. Yes. I think tongue in cheek when he's saying, how come you've never called he knows for, why. Let, me, let me just finish. How come you've never held a, a neck meeting or a PG since they quote unquote chased me from the party? Is you know, the party's in shambles. He was unruly, he's, he insulted. He's, 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 he's saying, I mean, you're doing badly without him. In other words, is it? Uh, we were doing worse what because he, be he was chased because of insubordination, okay. because of mm. giving himself powers that he did not have. How there's that version that he was chased, and there's that version that he he, 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 he resigned. He okay, he said he resigned. He was asked for the letter. Honorable, of resignation. <laughs> you know, okay. when you are appointed, the same way Hussein, you are sacked. Hussein, this is a discussion. It's, it is so lofty. It is so up there. Mm. In terms of importance for our current and Very future, important. it is beyond Murade. How do you solve this? Yes. So the, we're four ways, yeah. four ways. One, on Friday myself. Well, Murade is a viewer, so he was just yeah, uh, yeah, asking a yeah. question. It's so okay. Yeah. On Friday, like Gojiri today, I'm going to, to, to present my views in Kiambu to BBI. Uh -huh, yeah? uh -huh. But I don't believe that BBI is, is going the to solve solution. this problem. It's not the solution. I will do my civic duty, I will present, but it's not the solution. You know, so you'll participate in I, Angie? I'll, let me come there, my friend. Yeah. So BBI is hardship. Yeah. No, is. If, the, if the BBI is a hardship, there's nothing wrong with hardship. But we need to clean some things in terms of the perception. Hardship is the best thing that... We'll, do you, can you imagine where we would be as a country? Running battles every day? Can you imagine? Can someone look at... Anyway, it is a misinterpretation and a misconception that are wrong. Two, I want to beseech my very good friend, Raila Odinga, to study the podium. The way Uru Kenyatta stood in Kasarani, and called his troops to order, to call Bali to order, who think this is about leaving, you know, you know endorsing someone, to call Johor I to order, to say, because how come Raila never speaks to his people the way Uru speaks to his people? How come Orengo keeps saying, how come my good friend Raila does not speak out? How come he does not tell of Johor? That is that leadership? Is that statesmanship? How come Honorable Mbugu, you don't make noise about that? No, 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 if Raila does not do anything about those expectations that I see is we, in some we, of his quarters, we, we 2022, fight. we are headed for another disaster. Three, it did not make Moi weak to go to Kasarani in 1991 and hold a PG. It was actually a delegate call conference. These two, uh, I know that most of you are not happy with it, but you will do it. I want really to ask the man I respect most in this country, Uhuru Kenya. As a way forward. forward. Yeah, yeah, as a way forward. Mm -hmm. And by the way, Alice, it's not about Uhuru. You are a member, I'm a member. And tomorrow I'm going to write to Rafael Tuju. Asking for a national delegates congress okay. to the conference to discuss one issue, the handshake and adopt it as a party. How, how come we are not doing one and it? and a half years? Yeah. Ago. How come we are not, ask, we are not doing it ourselves? We are not asking who, and we have got members who can do that. That's what I was how, asking. How can, how why can't we ask it for will, it? You say, yeah? and I then don't we want are to sit here on a national television mm -hmm. and say that it will be convened because I have asked for it. Why can't we try? Because and then we, we say we tried, and it didn't happen. We had, we have. If, let me do something, Alice. If you try 
you might fail. If you don't try, you will definitely still fail. fail. Okay. Definitely fail. So that's finally, it, yeah. finally, mm. Mount Kenya, let's stop all this. Germany. Our, our, we are not going to get our voters better by Kieleweke, Tangataga, and all this. Yeah. I really want to ask. Truly, you have to get my friend. You know, as uh, my final comment would be this. Um, Hussein, I think first and foremost, I really, really also agree on the first point. I wish as leaders from Mount Kenya region, we would just stop, stop completely, stop campaign, stop uh, campaigning for anyone, mm -hmm. stop campaigning even against anyone, don't campaign you know, for even me. for Moses. We all don't, don't stop, don't we don't campaign for anyone don't campaign and for agree me. that for the I next one year, one and a half years, <laughs> the next one and a half years, we are just going to focus on delivering what it is that yeah. Mount Kenya people need. Okay. Second thing. I think it is also going to be important for us to agree as a party that we are in a crisis right now as a party. So it's important to me, it's important yes, to, we, to we address will, this. Uh, the, the, address the solutions it. about how to address the crisis we are in are things we can only discuss once we stop the noise. For as long as we are running in two different directions. They think the noise will only stop if you address it through a meeting with the party. Yeah, okay. it's, one way. It, it's one way. It's one way. And we can do it ourselves. It's one way. Because we can Uru also go is there. is our leader, yes, but he's a member as I am a member. So, so let us yourself. try to convene yeah. and then we are stopped in the, in yeah. the pursuit of, of such a conference. My final comment. As I said, Governor Waiguru has, has, has uh, appointed herself. She's actually said uh, she's ready to do it. Talk, talk is she's, cheap. She's Let's ready do to something. do it. Let's do something talk practical. She's saying she's ready you to can't, do it you, and bring everybody you together. Can't talk is that, that's still her trying to take over Uhuru's mandate. I think you need a it's, mandate. It's too early. Yeah. No. You need a mandate. It's too early. I mean, the, too we early still for have... You see, I mean, see he's... Too early for what? said anybody can now come in. Too early for what? It's too early for You see, what I understood Waiguru said wasn't that. How she was saying she's going to uh, pick. convene us. Pick us yeah. That role, that mandate, stop the hasn't, noise. that mandate hasn't moved to from Uru Kenyatta okay. yet. You know, he said this. Finally, clearly, no, could no, no. Anne Waiguru be one of the candidates? I don't know. Let me move from there. She's I don't know. Friend. Me, I'm still stuck but at uh, finishing. Why, why did you finishing, say that? Finishing did you say, with did you say that about he your good said, friend? He said <laughs> it is too early. Uh, I'm so still, I wanted I'm him still, to confirm. I'm still stuck be at a finishing. Because he said Uru. they have no candidate. Okay. Finally, yeah. I, I don't understand how uh, a PG can be called without involving the party leader and the deputy party leader. You can propose and ask for the meeting to be called. Because I, you know, when you understand the party mechanisms, then you will understand the need for the party leader to be there because some of these issues and suspicions actually are created by even people and fight by other people even for and on behalf, fake for and on behalf of the president. Then, but finally, you are a general manager or the chairman of a corporation. And then you, you want to tell the workers to call for a meeting and make resolutions and pass decisions mm -hmm. without the general manager's presence or blessings. I think you'll go nowhere. Okay, we'll have to leave yes. it at that. Thank and this you. is a discussion of this that will we go on in days to come. A lot still to happen in Kenya's politics, but it's only getting interesting. But thank you so much. Kandara MP, Ali Swahome, Katundu South, Moses Kuria, and uh, Ngujiri Wambogo, Member of Parliament, Nyeri Town. Did you, just, did you have a problem with him being a presidential, I mean, announcing that he wants to fight for presidency? It's, it's too early. You, said you also have a problem with him. It's too early. Only, does, only not very loud with him. Yeah. You see, he's not very loud. <laughs> I don't know for what <laughs> reason. Have to work. Yeah. <laughs> have to work. Okay, too text hard. us. Text us, but he, he's saying he, he wants to be. Text us on number 242. On Twitter, use the hashtag. We're back with a final sample of your, of your feedback after right. this break.